name is Xamarin. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to come and watch Dungaroomba 2. I am very excited to continue playing. Hope you guys are as well. So we are starting off with free time event. We've got time. Nobody's dead. It's great. It's awesome. I'm excited to enjoy myself. So without further ado, let's get started. From the report card, I can buy skills. How do I know what they do? Well, that sounds nice. Okay. Delusion. Oh, that sounds good. Trade. Okay. Well, kind of broke, so. Guess we'll leave it at that. Pet is doing good. Thank goodness. Um, yeah. So, okay, if we have free time, I should probably go to the mall place and buy things yes yes I think is a good idea uh was mall this way yeah market whatever say difference okay bum, 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 bum. all right so I kind of want to go hang out with either um Cheeky? Cheeky? Is that her name? Cheeky or Ibuki? Because I like them the most. And if they would die without me getting to hang out with them, I would be, like, deeply upset. So we have 30 coins. Ibuki is there. Do we want to go see Ibuki? Or Chiaki? I do like Chiaki, but I think I want to go see Ibuki. Yeah, hey, you're right there. Perfect. No! No, go back, go back! God damn it! <laughs> no! I was blinded. There we go. Hello! You look bored, Hygie May. Want to drink some tea with Ibuki? What you do? Should hang out? Yes! <laughs> I've successfully picked up a boy. Now then, it's my treat. So go on, don't hold back! Hell yeah! I spent time today at the restaurant eating desserts and drinking tea with Ibuki. Hell yeah! Let's go! <laughs> it feels like Ibuki and I grew closer. Would you like to give her a present? Definitely! Oh, you like chocolate chip jerky? You like chocolate chip jerky. You're my kind of girl. Yeah. 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 Yeah! Um. Yeah! Hell yeah! She's she's fucking blushing. She loves it. Are you really gonna give this to Ibuki? Yeah! Jeez, I'm so happy! Thanks, Hajime! Hajime! Oh, yeah, yeah! What? Meow. Jeez, hurry, hurry and choose me! What? Huh? Hey, hey! Oh, were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs? Huh? Can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> That's a major bingo! What is? Well, isn't it obvious? You should be a part of Ibuki's music club from now on! For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally but it. now, music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. You should jump on the bandwagon too! But I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. That's not something the ultimate musician should say. But even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a musical instrument. <laughs> Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. It's okay. Jamming out is so much fun. You'll be so popular with all the ladies. Chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. Hajime! By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. Oh. That isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Meow. <laughs> yep, yep. Now choose the musical instrument you want to use. Guitar! Ah, Ibuki has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really had to choose something. 
never played any type of instrument before, but it doesn't seem like it really matters. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, drums? Because I feel like bass, like, is getting in her way. And keyboard is way too difficult. So drums. Then I guess drums. Good job. That's awesome. All right, it's decided. Drums are great because you can just hit them to the beat. You don't even need to know how to read music. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Every drum in the world would hate you for saying that. I see. Now that I we've see. decided on an instrument, <laughs> let's start with learning how to use loudspeaker. Hold on a second. Why do you need a loudspeaker? Huh? What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> Just even just hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> Go, put your soul into it. Shout, shout. I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I really don't understand <laughs> Oh, cool. So do we have two? Part of way, one back to my room. Do we have more than one free time event or? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, okay. We have time for one more. Should we do our other, uh, our gamer girl? Let's go find gamer girl, huh? Let's go find a gamer girl. Let's go find a gamer girl. Gamer girl. Gamer girl. Gamer, gamer, gamer girl. Gamer girl. Gamer, 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 gamer girl. Where's my gamer girl? Oh, you're in the lobby. Oh. Uh, my bad. What's this? You can't. Oh. Never mind. Oh, she's by the games. Duh, I should have figured. Where else would she be? <laughs> hey, girl. I'm starting to get sleepy. What should I do? Should I invite Chiaki out to hang out even though she's sleepy? Yeah, why not? I don't think she'll ever not be tired. Hey, hey. Then let's go somewhere with good airflow. It'd probably feel good to sleep there. We went to the park and I spent time making small talk with Chiaki before she dozed off. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Yeah! Um, I don't think you'd like the... Things. So maybe one of these, one of these, one of these, one of those. Uh, water? Water to wake yeah. you up? You for giving me this. I guess I'll accept it. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Seems good. She's starting to space again as usual. Oh. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was getting a little sleepy. Well, you were standing. Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Hmm. Huh? When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Oh, that's not good. Plus I keep having nightmares. I have a bad dream the other day, so I have been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Um, the statue at Jabberwocky Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because the game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more the situation feels like a bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is that? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Hmm. Huh. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game? But still. Either way, that's all the more reason why killing sh wouldn't be allowed. It's not a game for having much fun. It doesn't mean anything you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to be have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> I suspected of the ultimate gamer. I would probably just give up on the game like that. Um, but to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that's not really good at. I see. What kind of game is that? Oh, her little hoodie! It's so cute! 
I won't tell you. I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Shiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Cool. I parted ways with Chiaki, went back to my room. Nighttime? Yeah. Ding dong, bing bong! Huh? The bell just rang. Could it be. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Yes. Hello, everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! Oh, I was having fun, though. I wonder what festivities await you! Oops, don't want to ruin the surprise! Oh, I don't really care for surprises! It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park! Oh, no. Oh, did he just tell us to go to the park? It's the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this and goosebumps sprung all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it! What is it now? Oh, bye. Hey, bye. I hate when the music gets all creepy like this. <laughs> um... This one? Oh, oh no. Oh no 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 I've been taking care of it, I swear. Oh. Oh. It's evolving. Oh, I did a good thing. I did good. I'm doing good. It's evolving. I did good. I'm a good caretaker. All right. Oh, hey. Hi, Pekka. What you doing outside? Pekka, you came too? I have no choice. After all, the handbook clearly states that defying Monokuma is not permitted. However, it'd be foolish to resist it. It's just going to make things worse. I hope everyone else feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway. At any rate, we must go to the park. Guess I have no choice, huh? Guess not. We should try to talk to her next. Uh, everyone was already at the park when I arrived. Why is there a stage? Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, it seems everyone here is late. How annoying. Uh, what is it this time? So freaking annoying. Then you shouldn't have come. I mean... I mean, it doesn't... No one will happen to me if I don't. <laughs> Since none of us know what will happen, maybe you should be one to test that out. <sighs> hey, you may talk like your tough wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster. Huh? Why you? What the fuck did you say? Wait. Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What did you just say? Friend? Dumbass. I'm not your friend, dumbass. Why would I ever become friends with you bastards? Eh? Hmm. <laughs> Let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you I know. I can do it, you know. Huh? Huh? You. You. What did you just say? Hmm. Oh, you didn't hear me. Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said I can do it. Do it. What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? I mean, he's young. Yakuza. I'm sure he probably snapped a few necks. Like, are we really that shocked, guys? Like, really? No. <laughs> All right, then. Becca. We must calm down. Even if it comes to it, I'll be forced to. I would like to avoid a situation like that if possible. It appears yeah, you can begun the unsightly battle against those who serve the darkness. That's what are you saying, Fukuhiko? Let's just stay calm for now. What do you have to say? <laughs> what happens if we defy Monokuma? I really want someone to test that out. Even a loser like he oh my god would have helped us with that, she says. She's so rude. Something like this. We should not have these fights. We are all friends here. What's going on?
going on? Seriously, what is he thinking? Okay, these are all very boring. I think this is taking a turn for the worse. I think we need to calm him down. Okay, I'll just talk to him then. Hey, Fukuhiko, why don't you calm down a bit? Bastard. Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed. That's the kind of world I live in. <laughs> the current rules make more sense to me than the plain nice get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You... Don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. There's no way I'm dealing with this kumbaya crap. <laughs> If any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll fucking kill you right now. I'm starting to get Sounds up. fun. Give me your best shot. What's gonna happen if you're easily this? E Wait, that's Hajime. <laughs> What's gonna happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. enough. Huh? Huh? I see. Fukuhiko, I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Oh. Don't treat me like a fucking kid. Let me say this. But what would recklessly killing accomplish? If you fail to get along with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, <laughs> you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child would do. You... What did you say? Listen. Listen, so as long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fukuhiko. I won't let you die. Yeah. What the hell? Everything you're saying is just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name is Byakuya Togami. But I am Byakuya Togami. I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yowza, he's so cool! <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said In earlier. The name of my family. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is a duty I have appointed myself. <laughs> Seems like Byakuya resolved it for now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fukuhiko really meant what he said earlier. Right? No, he did. Hmm. Oh, well, that's a cute little outfit you got on there with little Chama. Uh, this is it looked like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when they actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey, hey. Why are you dressed like that? Hey. Oh, um, didn't I mention in my recent broadcast? It's a costume for the fun time. No way. Oh, don't tell me you're going to. Correct. That's right. We're on Tranquil Island, so I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Uh, Why does it matter? We're on the tropical island. However... But... Can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course. Of course not. That's why I brought my partner. Oh. Oh no. Well, what is this? Meaningless. Mm, that figures. Thank you for waiting. Now then, without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monoku Masai's Splitting Live Two-Man Comedy Show. Hey. Huh? I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? How pitiful. I'm speechless. Oh no. Hello! I'm Monokuma! Okay. Um, I'm Monami. And together we are the Monokumas! Okay. Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind reading abilities. Okay. Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm, your favorite food is... You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. <laughs> Kid. Oh, I can laugh. <laughs> There's a laugh button. I just realized that. That's right. Dabbers. <laughs> Do that. 
<laughs> no way she can do that! <laughs> Comedy! No worries, it's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy. God of comedy! <laughs> Silence. So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive or after you're already dead? Uh, after I'm dead? Why would you ask? Such a cruel question. If I'm gonna summon the comma deity, then I'll need a lot of blood. Oh no. So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm, pretty please. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. No, Monami's our friend. She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. Oh. They're always the underdog. Ah. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Oh. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories. Stop! It's not funny! Say what? Wait, huh? Uh. You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Yeah. Well, that's because Monami stole your memories! Oh my god, stop laughing in the back! This isn't funny! Fucking masochist! Stop laughing! Well, what are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy. What a shocker! Oh my god, I will beat you myself. Stop laughing back there. It's not funny. It's not. Oh, uh... <sighs> I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. <laughs> I mean, aren't they? <laughs> you can laugh now. This guy doesn't understand comedy back there. Jeez. Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliched twist <laughs> like that. Yeah. Please stop! <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all! You guys just thought you were because you've lost all what? of your school memories! Quick! Someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before! S seriously this is bad in so many ways! Oh. I'm through dealing with you! Aw, oh, my laugh button's gone. Yeah, his backhand is far too powerful! <laughs> no, I already missed the laugh button. Oh, they're all so freaked out. Huh? That's... What did he mean? Hey! Hey! How was it? Was it funny? Or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? What I was saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean why I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories completely? What is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no way. Because I just entered Hope Peak Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. Oh, thanks to Bonami stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope Speak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible. Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's right. That's right. There's no way. I have memory you loss. Can't. Don't don't listen to what he says. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 limit breached. I won't believe. I refuse I to believe such a thing. Yeah, everything's okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing your memories. That's a lie, right? You're just saying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong. No, it's not a lie. 
If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you ride the Hope Peak Academy, you all experience a strange dizziness. What? How do you know that? Actually, <laughs> that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think, I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. <laughs> Impossible! There's no way! Why? On the contrary, why is it impossible? That's whether or not it's possible. There's no way we can believe it. No, no! You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Uh, huh? Hey! However, um, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is. <laughs> Have you figured it out yet? That's right! That's right! You have to kill each other! Yep. Okay. That's my bargaining point! Oh, uh, whoa, whoa! You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Amen. Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts. I'm ready for your memories. <laughs> Catchy. You piss me off. Hey, stop running your mouth. Why am I? Why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motive from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get killing done. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. Special bleeding. That's service. why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory loss crap in the first place. Hmm. But more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey. Um... You guys don't know each other, which means. Yeah. None of you realize that a trainer is hidden among you. Uh oh. Huh? <sighs> hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope Peak Academy are arranged to come to silence. I got it! That's right, there's probably a trainer I don't even know about hiding among the group! Just kidding! What you... are you saying? All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. <sighs> it's obviously nonsense. Lame. For real, you guys. How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue him. Anybody. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally, tricking you guys. It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? <laughs> come on! Make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. <laughs> well, that sucks. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair, it consumed every one of us. Um, is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? You got it wrong! No, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. <laughs> Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse by saying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. That's I right. I don't believe, believe it. Well, isn't, wouldn't Byakuya technically be the traitor, right? Since he's not in our class? Wouldn't he technically be the traitor? I think, I don't know. Hey, Monami, you would know. Huh? huh? Oh. Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um, I, I mean... Everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past. <gasps> Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's do our best. Huh? Well then. Uh, she ran away. Hmm. Hmm. How ridiculous. Memory loss of traitor. It's completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with all this bullshit, dumbass. Well then, as he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Still memories, all my school memories, everything a traitor hidden among us. But what really struck me was Mo Monokuma said, You guys don't know anything about each other. Oh, bing bong ding dong. Bing bong ding dong. Okay. Ahem. Hope 
Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. All right, now then. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. All right. Hey. Hey, what should we do? <laughs> it's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. Oh. I guess... You're right. This is your leader's Just order. Just so you all know, do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um, how troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Ah. That's not how the saying goes, but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. My god, these two, like, simping for her are ridiculous. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but uh, later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Put those stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto the bed. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Close my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. All right, what do you got for us? What's the, what, what's the theater today? Wah -wah? They say impossible is a word that's only found in a fool's dictionary. Obviously, it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. It's not like can actually make the impossible it's possible. It's over if you say that. You can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Okay. That was confusing, but all right then. Bing bong, bing bong, ding dong. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. Okay, Um, I want to make sure I save and check out my bed. Okay, it has not been bottomed. <clears throat> hey, friend. <sighs> Not everyone is so strong as Biaklia. I never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same as well. What? But now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think I should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is what'll make us cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Now. Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant. Okay, anyone else outside? I don't think so. Oh, lots of people outside. Hello. Hello. Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with that sullen face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I lied my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Ah, just you know, it's going to be girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll go on ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant, too. Oh no God! No God! Please no! 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 Jeez! Jeez! I'm so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish. Surely totally fine to spend his morning sleeping in. But if we need to eat breakfast anyways, what's wrong with eating it together? Aww. Well. I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um, uh, eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fat. Hey! Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's listening to this ugly bitch crying in the morning it makes me so sick. Hey, girl, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. Yeah, she is. 
She is something. Hello. Morning. Yeah, good morning. What is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? My first greeting sometime. My first time greeting someone. I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. What kind of life has she had? Huh. You go you gonna go in? What if I talk to you again? <laughs> Thank you very much. What kind of life she had? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go in. Um, is my gamer girl there? Chucky, hell yeah. Oh, and Ibuki. 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 Hello. Oh, good nom 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 noms. What? Yes. I thought up a greeting for when we all eat breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that conveys, combines good morning and nom 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 at the same time. <laughs> this is definitely the new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it's the new hip thing to say. Hello. Good nom nom nomming. <laughs> So I want to go tell everyone. Even if she makes it popular, it'll still be limited to this island. True. Good morning, Chiaki. Chiaki, please don't ignore me today. Hey. Good morning. What was that pause for? Well, I'm in the middle of doing combo strings. I couldn't really reply. Doing what? Hmm. I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. Did I interrupt something she was doing? Yeah, she's playing vid games. Stupid. Is there Monokuma in here? No. Okay. Oh, up we go. Oh. How y'all doing? But nobody was talking. Not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Oh, wow. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems Fuyuku is not here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. <laughs> Man, it's dead body already! No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Could he. Is he thinking about killing someone by himself? He must not! Kazuchi. You should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what he means? He's part of a Japanese mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if summoned That's him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. Oh. <laughs> Party? That's right. That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up. This is your leader. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like that. Hmm. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait. Uh, hold on. I agree with Biakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bum like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party? Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, this is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend. You say that with such significance. Well, he doesn't want people to go around killing each other. It's all clear now. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made it clear from the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'm so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! <laughs> then let's party hard. <laughs> in that case, I'll put on my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Hmm. Where is the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interferences from the outside. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Um, 
an enclosed space? How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will this lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Um, nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. Mm-hmm. But if we want to be pressed up against each other, then the cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the woman's only train and drag. I feel so lucky. Have you done that? Character, you're a fucking freak. There's something wrong with I you. I can't believe how comfortable you are saying like, you perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. No, no, not really. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. Then how about that old looking building near the hotel? Huh? That rundown place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space right now. However. Indeed, however, Monami has forbidden us from entering the old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. Ding, 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 ding. I have heard your conversation, heard it all with my very own ears. I have, I have good ears, cause I'm a rabbit. I see. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Huh? Eh? Hmm. Then what is your reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Oh, honey. Hello. Ah, oh, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, it's of no concern. We settled that issue of another Listen. time. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes. If it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not going to happen because you're so disgusting. Understand? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> huh? Your kind words make me want to cry. Wow, God, she is such a bitch. I know people don't like Byakuya, but she's just a bitch, man. Oh, my God. So, uh, we're all good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of the renovation, we don't need to clean it first, yeah? Oh. I have never done dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey. No way, there's no way we can dirty our dear princess hands. Oh my god, you fucking simp. Leave her alone. Aww. Nah, I don't want to do it either. Sheesh. What, nobody gonna do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by random drawing? Random drawing? Actually. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. You go to the trouble of preparing this. Just what did you think would happen? Wow, he really is our, like, friendship guy. Damn. See? Whoever draws a chopstick with a red mark in it will be in charge of cleaning. Okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment! Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. All right. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everyone took turns pulling the chopsticks. Nakito. And when it was all said and done... What? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem to be very lucky right now. Wow. Well, I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you make a good stay-at-home dad. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. All right, first I need to prepare my ingredients, then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I, Teratur Hanamura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then... Then I just need to pass along the party details to fucking <laughs> Fukuhiko. Let's go about our business, then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. Hmm. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. Okay. There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring at my raw. Have some free time! Oh! Who should we go spend it with? Uh, I feel like I said somebody, but who? I want to go see Byakuya and then maybe another girly? Oh, you're right here. We'll spend time with you? I mean, you are right here. Boop, 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 boop. Aha! Aha! Okay, what is my pet? Okay, what does my pet look like? I'm really sad! Uh, 
Oh. Oh. Snake of me. Oh. Oh, that was not what I was expecting you to turn into. Here you go. Oh, it. Oh, it has hope! Oh, it's happy! Oh, good! You little freaky snake monster! Cool! Okay, then. Awesome. Um, uh, do you want to hang out? Can I go to the old building? Probably not. Right? Or can I? Let's go look. Um, okay, can I go in here? Hello there. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Sorry. I'm sorry, you came all this way. I had to ask you to leave. I'm just so busy Bye cleaning. Now. I'll have to finish before the party, so I'll see you tonight. Oh, okay. Jackie. Hello, I'm back. Oh, wait, did I want to hang out with Sonia? No, no, no. No, I, I didn't mean that. I, I want to hang out with you. I did not just say that to your face. No, no, no. I definitely, totally want to hang out with you. You don't want to hang out with me? No, 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 no. I did not say that. I I totally saw you and I was like, yeah, let's hang out with you. I meant like, you know, later maybe I'd hang out with her, you know? That's all. Ah, sorry. I want to hang out with you. Do you have business with me? What should I do? Should I invite Nikki out to hang out? Yeah, I think we should hang out. <gasps> Is it okay if we spend time together? You're not being punished for something, are you? Oh, my God. Bless her tender little heart. I spent today rambling on with Mikan. <laughs> it looks like Mikan and I grew closer. I would love to give you a present. Uh, I don't think you'd like jerky, so, you know, take some water. Who doesn't love water? Is this something you throw or hit things with? I mean, you could, like a water balloon, but you should just drink it. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'll make sure I take good care of it. Despite the fact that we decided to hang out, Khan is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow, I feel like I did something bad to her, even though I know I didn't do anything. Um, um huh? I'm sorry. What's with this all of a sudden? I thought you clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. Did I do something wrong again? What should I do? Um, would it make you happier if I took my clothes? Whoa, 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 no. Not in public, at least. Can we go to your cottage? Like... <laughs> Hold on. Why are you reacting like that? Uh, You're right. I don't want you to see me naked. You don't want to see me naked, right? Then how about my mommy? Seriously, hold on. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is going to get even worse. All right, I should calm down. Hey, Miken, I just want to talk to you normally. Uh, talk uh, uh, today is such a beautiful day yeah 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 uh, I'm sorry should I take my clothes off seriously you don't have to do anything like that this is troubling I guess I should start talking to me about something she might get excited about uh probably bandages right she has like a shit ton of bandages on she's a nurse so bandages um me can what type of bandages do you like the most <laughs> bandages <laughs> let's see there's lots of different types these days it's extremely convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types but i definitely don't like non-elastic types the best that's not too constricting but they still firmly secure wounds i'm glad it looks like she's getting into the conversation <laughs> uh, sorry i went ahead and started talking on my own don't, don't worry about it. I am the one who asked you anyway. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. <laughs> really? Uh, let's just call it a day for now. Uh, yes. If it's not too much trouble, I would like to talk to you again. It's 
been a while since anyone talked to me like this, so... Of course, anytime. Thank Aww, <laughs> she's so cute! Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go our separate ways for now. But for some reason, I feel like Mikan was starting at my back a little too long. She's not a bad person, but I don't really know how to communicate with her that well. Oh yeah, we should buy more um, things. Is it nighttime? No, it's not. Okay. Another free time. Uh, okay, let's go to... I want to talk to you guys. I do. I do. But I want to talk... To... I need to buy things anyways, and I need to talk to Byakuya, so... I think the game is going to freak out. It's like, you know too much! <laughs> Despite the fact you're prepared for the party, I shall enjoy Tetsu Teru Teru's dishes. Does the ultimate cook skill surpass that of Tugami Corporation's chef? What should I do? Should I invite him? Yeah, let's hang out. Hmm. So you're interested in dishes prepared by my company's personal chef. Let me tell you about them. I was forced to listen to Byakuya speak at length about the various dishes he's eaten. Looks like Byakuya let me get a little closer to him. I would love to give him a present. Yes. That. <laughs> do you really think I would be happy with something like this? Listen. Correct. Good work, Hajime. Hey, hi, Jimmy. Let me ask you one thing. Huh? Me? I don't really mind, but there's something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? Huh? Well, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before. This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear, this is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say you're a nine. No, maybe an eight. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> Be grateful that it's a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospital, you'd freeze to death. I see. Anyways, you still can't remember what your talent is? Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? <laughs> What's with that face? Nothing. I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. Hm. How foolish. Do you really think I get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent in is. The name of my as family. long as Byakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. His personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is B B Bakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent prodigy. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, he's... Okay, he was pretty... Okay, you just left. I feel like I got to know a little bit more about Byakuya. Huh. Well, he just left me. So I returned to my room. Wow, he just, like, actually left me. <laughs> what the fuck? Bing bong, ding dong. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. I. It is now 10 p.m. I. Please return to your rooms and relax. Okay. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. But that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna party all night. Good night, he says. Whatever. I have a party to attend. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. I'm a little nervous. This is not gonna go well. So we're gonna save. Not like I could really change anything, but you know. All right, to the party. That's right. Here we go. Let's party, tardy, party, hotty, party, hotty, hotty. Oh hey, Boogie. What up? Oh my mom. Oh, you are also here for the party. 
Why else would I be here? Anyways, what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> huh, I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Chero Chero's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Cool, well, I'm gonna go. That's a lot of people just chilling. Hello. Hi, Mikan. It's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, I'll do my best not to be in the way, so it's fine if I s stay here, right? Are you really worried about that? Are you really worried about something like that? Uh, yes! Okay. Hey, Pecco. I let Fukuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Well, I'm gonna go to the party. Bye, girls. I hope to see you inside. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? <laughs> because I need to do a body check. Body check? So I don't have any weapons? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. So I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Biakia went ahead and thoroughly searched me up, staring with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I have That's it! That's fine. Very well, I shall allow you to enter. Huh? It's at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Biakia was standing. A metal case. What? Dear Larium, actually, I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for, well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. Oh! Probably. Stop talking. Medical supplies, I would think, right? Or weapons. The others are gathered here at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as you said that, he turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk. So cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. What did he mean by emergencies only? Huh. What is up there? Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize I could move in here. Okay. Where am I going? Toilet? Can I go in there? Unisex, I don't need to go. Oh. Office. Oh! Oh, hi, Monokuma! <laughs> you little creep! Hi! I've been found! Huh. Well, that was interesting. Okay, can I do anything else in here? This is the creepy spot. Roll control for the air conditioner. Why don't the filters clean? More importantly, I should go to the dining hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Circuit breaker. Why is it all the way up there? How's anyone supposed to reach that? Well, more importantly, I should go to the dining hall. What else? Lamp. I love lamp. The desk the staff used for busy work. It looks like it's dusty. <laughs> Should go to the dining hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Dining hall this, dining hall that. Bah, 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 bah. So annoying. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Stop yelling at me. Oh. I'm sorry. Did you hear? <gasps> Whoa. It's like the other game had the big bolts and stuff closed. That's a dining hall. I don't. Ah, oh, hi. Sorry, I did not mean to run into you. Oh? There's a tantalizing aroma walking through the kitchen. Jeez. However, Biakio will yell at me if I go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there if you don't want to get yelled at as well. I'm gonna go look. Is this the kitchen? Cool, I can go to the kitchen. Oh, that's a big cartoon meat. How's it going? Hello there. Oh, did you need something? Don't worry, I've already prepared all the dishes. Or rather, do you want me to cook you up too? What does that even mean? <laughs> no, really, what does that mean? Is there a Monokuma in there? It's a knife set. Never knew there were so many different types of knives. Don't know anything about knives, but Territory probably knows what each knife is for. Well, more importantly, it should head over. Is that the... Okay. 
Oh, equipment list. Apparently, I need to go to the dining hall. Oh my god, I'm just looking at things! God, my own fucking hygiene is such a little narc. Is that the cartoon meat? Dishes. Lots of different types of dishes, but this meat in the bone looks something like a caveman would eat. Hungry, I should go to the dining hall. Oh my god! Stop telling me what to do, mom! Because I gotta leave it alone. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going! Is there anything else I can look at? Mm. Whoa! Oh, this is cool! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. How do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yeah, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. <sighs> There was a lot of dust and cobwebs over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Okay. How's everyone doing? Y'all vibing? Oh, she's losing her mind because she sees the food. Hey, what's up? It's pointless. She's completely focused on food. Good Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisines of the multiverse. Okay. He's so weird. Uh, man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man. That was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How annoying. Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench on me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport carrying it around calms me down. But Byakia put it in the journal in case of his. Aw, man. How are you enjoying it? Oh, here you go. Gross. That creepy Byakia rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys, too. <laughs> so, he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Huh? Yeah. I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. Hey, Jackie. I love you. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. You're right. We should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm. I wonder. Mm. I wonder. So, we're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. Hmm. This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went through all the trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning this has limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, actually. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. Oh, God. Okay, what can I look at here? Food. There are lots of fancy looking party dishes on the table toward the front. Okay. Lots of meat fish. Yeah, I want to look at the bolts. Iron plates. This reminds me of something similar in the hallway, but why are these iron plates on the wall? How pitiful. All is not what it appears. Eh? Stay back. One of the board of a supernova silver fox, Sandy, has not seen what lies shrouded amongst the darkness. Though the iron plates appear to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window. Let me tell there you are no this. windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my hmm, Sandy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual. Huh? Why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lights gasp their first breath and countless more go to the wall of the flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it. But this place sure has a creepy atmosphere. 
Suddenly, you heard a voice of the ultimate affluent pro pro protagonist ring throughout the dining I made hall. You wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Tero in the kitchen, and it appears Fukuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Pekko. It's his fault for not coming. Shh. Explicitly stated that the attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. It's just one person's absent. That shouldn't pose a problem. You won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What? More importantly... Hmm. Come on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Bakuya's face as he looked at the table with various food Not dishes. Possible. Dangerous! He stomped his way towards the table. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. You're hogging all the food! No fair! No, I'm not. I think you are. I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. Yeah, they're like on swords. Looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Mm -hmm. It's an iron skewer. Yeah. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Okay. Well, he is not wrong. Hey, it looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of it, huh? Oh. Oh, some messy eater ruined my arrangement. Hmm. Who made this dish? Um, that would be me. But um, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items? No, 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 no. Dangerous? No, no, no. That's that's. That's for sure. It's a South American meal where you stab meat on iron skewer to cook it. Mm -hmm. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would be totally fine to fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Hey, iron skewers aren't allowed either. <laughs> if that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right next to him. My condolences. Huh. Yakuya's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Okay, well then. I think we will deal with the iron skewers in the kitchen next time. Really weird, but you know, we'll deal with that next time around. <laughs> I think that was a great time to stop. Okay, so we are at our party. I think it's a good time to stop. We'll go deal with the iron skewer things next time around and we'll see what happens. Right now, there's only one person who isn't at the party. So like, I don't think anything bad will happen, but I don't know. Like, I feel like we're all pretty together, but I mean, we all came to the party at different times. And it could very well be that Pukiko is dead. So I don't know. Like, I mean, he's such a jerk that I wouldn't put it past him being like the first person to die. Since he's so uncooperative, it would make sense. Like people have motive to kill him off. But I feel like it'd be really hard to kill him. So someone strong would have to kill him. So I don't know, but it's interesting. So I'm very excited to continue playing. I hope you guys are as well. Hope you're enjoying it. And, of course, if you like this, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Um, I kind of play this game when I have extra time. I'm trying to make sure that I always upload it on Sundays, but that won't always be the case. Sometimes life just gets really busy and I just don't have time to play the game since I kind of try to play it in like three to four-ish hour like spurts. So sometimes I just don't have that extra time in the week to get around to doing it or editing it, what have you. So... If you guys like it, I really do appreciate all the love and support for me playing it. Uh, I love it. It's something different we get to do on the channel, so it's fun. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you all 